Hi, and welcome to the show. We thank God you can view the show, whether it's in your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, or any other area in your home. We're excited to bring in that ministry it presents. I'm your host, the Reverend Willie Williams Jr. Excited about the information you're going to receive today. Excited about this uh, month of, 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 of March. Um, I have a whole lot of friends and family that celebrate uh, their birthdays and uh, the month of March. But also, March gives us uh, the beginning of spring. Uh, didn't have an opportunity to tell you to turn your clocks up uh, last week. And uh, I, I know if you did like I did, you lost the hour of sleep. And eventually... Well, they're talking about that, uh, about uh, staying uh, in, in the daylight savings mode uh, uh, continually. They're talking about it. We'll find out because uh, you do know, uh, I think they tried that years ago. I remember they tried that years ago, and it was a conflict on the young kids that's going to school. So dark, so dark. And, and, and you know, you, the kids feel like they, they're working a construction job. Again, we, we, we say to you, uh, uh, if you haven't been down to the lower night ward, go down there, see uh, the devastation, but realize the restoration. I have to say, uh, 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 this week, last week, uh, I haven't had a chance to go down there. I'm looking uh, to go down there. As I say, I have family friends, and pastors. Uh, I know uh, this week, uh, Pastor uh, Byron Johnson of the Central uh, Baptist Church, he's doing uh, an outreach down there, uh, and, and, and you're welcome uh, to go down there and be part of it. Uh, I, I know it deals with, uh, if you're not vaccinated, you can get vaccinated. And um, I think they were even offering gift cards. But... Uh, um, uh, uh, go down there, Central Baptist Church on Alavo Street, and uh, you can inquire. I don't have the phone number, uh, but I can tell you uh, he's uh, right uh, one block, one block off of Claiborne on, on Alavo. Uh, again, we're always pleased. Our, our, our co-host is here. He's been. Um, I won't say he's been out of town, but 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 he he's been taking care of business in other areas, and we were glad to see him back. In the person of Reverend Darrell Smith, he's here to talk about. Uh, well, I'm gonna let you because he has a very good subject. Uh, uh, the subject is always good that he he talks about, but this subject is 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 a um, I think a new subject. Uh, but but it shouldn't be because it, it is always consistent uh, with, with our time and with, with, with our situation. Uh, again, uh, uh, Reverend Smith. Yes, sir. Uh, good to have you back. I'm uh, glad to be uh, back. Uh, uh, I know you're a busy man. Thank thank God that you, you took our time to come and do the show because I know you're always busy. After the show, I know you got to leave and go somewhere else. And, uh, but but, but we're, we're thankful that, that you're here and, and that you're uh, going to talk about well, this is National Women's Month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we celebrated Black History Month uh, mm. last month, February, and we had a good discussion on that. And you know what? Let's let's emphasize one thing. It's not just about the month. You know, I, I, I get in trouble for something like Mother's Day because somebody says you should celebrate Mother's Day every day, not just one day. You know, uh, Valentine's Day. Are these days that special because? I have people that say, don't, don't give them gifts on those days. Just treat them right every day. And it'll be okay. So I save money. But anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, beyond the fact of saving money, it's just a matter of every day is a special day. So even though we look at this month as national and international women's month, you know, we should celebrate and thank God for the women every day. Just like every day is Black History Month, uh, Black History Day. So, you know, to emphasize the months, you know, but um, yeah, let it be known that every day should be recognized for us all individual. But this is international, I thought to say national, International Women's Month, and the good thing about it is we recognize we recognize women internationally every day. Again, seven days a week. Seven days a week. Yeah. And if you're up, twenty four hours. Yes, indeed. <laughs> huh? Well, you know the good thing about that is the fact that they can highlight and spotlight what is happening internationally around the world, and of course, 
not getting political and everything, but we know that there's a conflict. Some people would call it a war. And I, I would call it a war. Okay, a war. <laughs> Ukraine. I'll call it a war. It's and biblical. It's, it's biblical. biblical. You're right. Wars and rumors of war. It's, it's a war. It's a war, yeah. You, well, ain't, you ain't throwing rocks at people. Okay, because you're right. Because by saying conflict, that's just watering it down. That's watering it down. And, and, and you know, historically, um, the Korean conflict, Time. You can call it conflict. I call it a war. Right, uh, right, uh, right. Uh, uh, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. they, they they didn't want to recognize Vietnam as a war. It was a war, right. and and the stigma that goes along with that. All the where you went is a good place to go. In in all the wars, there have been women that contributed. That's what I was going to say. And I I, I want to say on both sides, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the pros and the cons uh, that have contributed. Uh, I think um, last month there, there, there was a, um, a group of, of, of soldiers, female soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, they they were not recognized until now That's about right. their contributions that they did. Are you talking about black female soldiers? Black female Say soldiers. Say that. that. You, you know what they did? They, 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 they got mail to the soldiers in less than the time that it normally would be, would get to them. And, and look, that's oh. important. Uh, uh, you you need to get mail when you're at, you know, you're in a war right. and battle and stuff like that from your loved ones. Thank you. You know, um, there, there, there are some, some, some bad letters, you know. That, yeah, that, that, dear John. They, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> they, they recommend, they recommend uh, 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 wives and girlfriends, don't do that while war is going on, yeah. you know. Wait, wait till he, you know, either the war way. is over mm -hmm. or he's back stateside because then his, his focus is off. That's you know true what too. I'm saying? Just, I mean, That's you true. feel, you know, I, I imagine the person saying, I'm, I'm fighting the war for you. And you say, nah, I found somebody that didn't go to war. And you you going to hook up with him? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Watch out for friendly fire. Oh, he might shoot that <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you know what? That's true. But the other side of that, and I'm glad you said pros and cons and everything because with this war that's going on now in Ukraine, there are Americans that's going, that's going, going back. Going. I looked at the news last night and I had this student from Sanford. She's based in Poland, but she's she's a, in Sanford University studying abroad. And she told her mother, hey, I want to, she's, she's of Ukraine descent. And she told her mother what she wanted to do. And her mother didn't say nothing. But in the end, her mother said, if that's what you want to do, do it. And so she's supposed to be heading to the war and everything. So, and I say this with all respect, so I don't want the sisters to get mad at me, but, you know, back in the day they fought for equal rights and everything and, and this, that, and the other. Not so much to be more than a man, but to be equal as a man and everything. The pay is not all the same right now. But what I'm saying is this, um, that now is the time for the women, if they want to, Prove the point, it can be proven, you know. I, I give I give my hat off to women. They go through childbearing. Let a man try that, you know. No, thank you. Ouch. You know, yeah, yeah, because no, they you. go through a whole lot. And so I'm not saying to diminish what they go through naturally, but the determination is there. So you want to be equal, there's an equal playing field because war is hell. Yeah. Can I say it like that? War yeah. is hell. Well, they're, they're the results of war and the aftermath of war, uh, where a lot of our soldiers uh, are coming back from war. And they're coming back. And this has been historic. Um, uh, uh, when my uncles uh, were in, um, I want to say, the Korean War, um, they, they came back and uh, they used the term shell shock. Mm -hmm. We, we understand it's, it's post-traumatic stress disorder now, but uh, shell, and, I, and I, had, I had a couple of uncles that had, had issues, uh, I mean, serious issues. Uh, 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 loud noises would, 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 you know, would activate that, 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 uh, that shell shockism. Mm -hmm. The other issues was that they, um, be, I, I'm just gonna be honest, they became alcoholics. Mm -hmm. they, they, they drank too much. You know, and uh, it affected them in, in some, um, they recovered out of it, and some never recovered, you know. Yeah, so. well, that's why I say war is hell, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, and, and the, the other issue I think a lot of people uh, may not be paying attention to, that there is a, a suicidal track 
of war after they're, they're out of battle, if they survived some battles and their friends uh, did not survive, right. they, they feel um, uh, unworthy. Survivor's remorse. Yeah, it's yeah. Called survivor's remorse. Why, why, why didn't I get, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, not just hurt, but why, why I didn't die in that battle and stuff like that. So they, they, they have a, a, a system of thinking that they, they should have died in the battle as well. So, you know, the, the continuation of, of, of once you get past the battle, yeah. the next step is learning how to live through the battle. And that is so true. Mm -hmm. You know, now I'm changing subjects, keeping it on international women. Let's get a little national, Black History Month. Let's talk about black women. Uh, what President Biden has done, nominated the first black woman to be nominated for the Supreme Court. That's right. That's a good thing, you know. Okay. I mean, I hate to say it like this, after all these years, you know, but we've got, and I say for blacks and I say for women, we still have a lot of firsts to go through, you know. We still have a lot of firsts. So um, if she gets nominated, well, she's nominated, goes through, she will become the first black uh, female Chief, Chief Justice. Chief Justice. Yeah. But you know, the, I'm going to say the funny thing, and I'm going to say it like this, not to be politically incorrect. You know, the Chief Justices are in for life, you know. Now they're trying to say, give them a term for 18 years. That's what some on the other, other side are trying to say. Well, let's change the Chief Justice from being, you know, lifetime term. Lifetime life, appointment. Yeah, lifetime appointment into 18 years. This one was 18. 51 years old. She's a young woman. She's a young woman, you know. And if she would be in there for 18 years, she ain't going to be in there longer. There's some older than that that's been there for long, you know. That's right. And so why do you want to change the system now, you know, and all like that? I'm, I'm not, and I can say I'm not being politically incorrect, but, you know, life term, lifetime term is a long time, you know. I want to tell you if you could do it. It's, it's up to the individual, um, you know, because it's... It, since you're there, a lot, like they don't meet every day, like 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 most people right. who go to court. So, it, it, it's not a, a, a arduous job that you have to go through. Um, hold that thought. We, okay. we 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 discussed that. I I, I really want to uh, touch on that that importance of, of that position mm -hmm. and 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 that it's being the first uh, uh, black woman that 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 uh, uh, that may achieve that position. We we need to talk about it. Um, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to talk to uh, Reverend Smith about um, international uh, black, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, international women uh, history month. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia. Add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. Uh, this is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. Plus, two against one is more intimidating when we force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate, as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, I don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you.